about C5. Okay, so C5 wheel armor. This is a specific coating for rims. It has a high temperature resistance. It's good up to around about 500 degrees centigrade. You can put it on your calipers as well. It's designed to put a layer on there to prevent brake dust from eating into the lacquer and gives a durability for around about two years. Yeah. So um, this is a uh, well, silicon nut. So it's a, it's a quartz, it forms a quartz uh, coating on the surface. Essentially, what you're doing is producing a much, uh, much denser surface so things can't adhere to it as easily or embed themselves. It's dense and hard, so it's a very thin, very hard surface. So obviously the critical issue you've got with most uh, cars, um, you know, some, some marks are worse than others, is a lot of brake dust getting onto the surface and that'll be hot and quite often that can actually melt itself into the, into the paint and becomes very, very hard to remove. So with wheel armor, this gives you a very hard, very heat resistant surface. So the brake dust is gonna be an absolute dream to, to remove and that, you know, you will get that effect. That, that will give you probably do two years out of a single application of that. Okay, so in regards to preparation of a yeah. wheel, so ideally wheel off. Yes, ideally, you, you don't have to, it depends, it's up to you. If you want to do kind of full wheel off and do the barrels, obviously you've got to take the wheel off. Uh, a lot of people would just do the faces, but yeah, to do it in, in the best possible way, you would take the wheel off, make sure, you know, that surface is, is uh, contaminant free. You've obviously got to uh, decontaminate it thoroughly, polish it if needed, um, and then use our panel wipe to make sure. So the critical thing with all of these types of coatings is they are, they are bonding using a covalent, a chemical bond with the surface. So the cleaner you can make the surface, you know, if there's any polish residue on the surface, that's going to interfere with that bonding mechanism. So if it's a clinically clean surface, which panel wipe, our panel wipe does, and our panel wipe is not to be confused with isopropyl alcohol based products, they don't actually dissolve the polish residue, our panel wipe does. So that's, once you've used that, you spread the product onto the surface and, and wipe away the residue. You've probably got about a working time of around a couple of minutes to, to remove it. And then the bonding mechanism starts, it's a four uh, stage bonding mechanism as it is with all uh, silane uh, products and that the majority of the bonding will happen within a few hours but the final stage takes around about, you know, you, you kind of want to leave you don't want to clean the wheels for about a, a week afterwards. You want to, don't want to use any surfactants on the, on the surface. So after about a week, you know that's going to be fully bonded. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell. See you next time.